Hello and welcome to today's video on high altitude investing. So today's video is going to be on limit orders, how to use them and how to trade with them. So let's get right into it. Um, let me go over to Poloniex here. Okay. Um, okay, we're on Poloniex. Now I'm looking at Made Safe coin right now. Made Safe is up 10% today, which is a pretty nice swing up. Um, and you know it's looking very very bullish it looks like it's trying to break high right now and break high pretty hard but it can be a little bit dangerous to be buying up coins at this value uh, especially since they're coming into resistance zones so what you want to do when you're trading this type of coin is you can use stop and limit orders um, this is a very, very, very useful tool. So I'll show you how to use it both ways. So first, let me, let's me let just say that I wanted to buy some made safe. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 0 0.001. So five made safe. And we'll wait for this order to fill. 18. Okay, while we're waiting for that order to fill, we can go ahead and do the other side of the stop limit. So, this is the stop limit box in Poloniex right here. Now, the way this works is you it's like a trigger. You set a certain price and it will trigger to buy at a certain price. You set a certain price and it will trigger to sell at a certain price. So, let me show you this in example here let's say that if I want if I want made safe to go above its its all-time high right or its its previous high right here which is point zero 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 two four Bitcoin then I would come down here and I would say Point zero zero zero. <clears throat> see what was it? Two four. Two four Bitcoin. Okay. Now, um, if I want it to. So when it goes up to 0 0.00024 Bitcoin, it will trigger this, okay? So then I then I tell it what price I want that trigger to be aiming to buy at. See, because it will hit a level, and then you tell it where you want it to buy in. Because there's some price movement, so you can you can get a little bit of a better buy spot if you if it hits your spot and you set it a little bit below. So let's do 0 0.000. Um, <clears throat> two three so that means if it comes up to here then I want it to buy in right here okay so just below that highest point um, the reason I traders do this is because it, if a coin confirms to break above a previous resistance then it chances are is it's gonna keep going up that usually means it's broken any type of downtrending and has switched to the upswing again so let's see, now we want to spend, um, let's spend 0 0.001 Bitcoin again. Okay, so that would give us four made. We press buy. Now if the lowest asks rise is two, our set price, which is 0 0.00024 Bitcoin, in order to buy four made safe at the price of 0 0.00023, will be placed. Now I press submit. Now as you can see I have this stop limit order right here in my orders. Now what that does is allows me to just leave it there and when or and if it breaks above this level I will be buying that much made at just a little bit cheaper than my, my trigger price. Now since I can't seem to get 
this other maid to buy. I'm going to do something that you shouldn't do very often. And I'm just going to go ahead and let's see, sell orders at eighteen nine nine. So if I do nine, oops, and then five, come on. So I'm just basically waiting for this order to fill. I'm waiting for somebody to uh, buy my Bitcoin for their maid right now. And let's see here. I guess it would help if I go like this. If I go, I'll just do nine. So I'm I'm saying that I want to buy it for a little bit more expensive than the cheapest sell order. The only reason I'm doing that is to ensure the fact that it will buy me made instantly. I don't recommend that because you can usually get a better price, but it is a way to get it if it's if it's not making your order happen right off the bat. Um, now let's say that if made safe, if I thought made safe was going to go down, but I didn't want to lose a lot of money, I could say, okay, um, at this price right here, this point zero 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 one five four nine Bitcoin. So point zero 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 one five. Four nine Bitcoin, and then have a sell at one six. Okay, zero. Now the reason I make it higher is because if it goes that low, I'm assuming that it will probably swing back up a little bit. So I can I can take back a little bit of my loss if it does in fact go down that low. Now I just do all the made I have available. You can just click on this little thing right here. These are actually buttons for how much Bitcoin or made you can spend. And then I press sell. Now, if the highest bid drops below that number, this uh, 00015, then I will sell five made at 0 0.00016. So I press submit. And now I have a sell order. So that way it would cut my losses off. And I have a buy order so that that way I get into the market if it breaks above the high I'm aiming for it to break above. So that's basically how you do stop and limit orders. Um, one thing to remember is that you do have to have some made safe already purchased to do a stop loss order and you obviously have to have some Bitcoin to set a buy order for made safe. And it will hold your funds inside of these orders unless you press cancel until they are filled. All right. <clears throat> so that's everything for today. Uh, watch out for a new video tomorrow. Um, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay profitable.